if we are going to be moving into the 21st century and allowing our citizens to have tools that would empower them to take full advantage of this new digital world that we are part of, that we would want to ensure that this new ID card was not just a replacement of the old from one form to another form, but that it would be a replacement of the old and something that can be more beneficial to them and add additional value to their lives. This Trident ID card, therefore, can be used as a proxy for your driver's license. That means a citizen really and truly only has to walk with one form of ID on their person. So once you have your Trident ID card, if you're ever stopped and have to produce your driver's license information or to validate that you have a, a driver's license that allows you to operate a vehicle or B vehicle, then the, the QR code at the back of the Trident ID card allows that information to be accessed. What that means is the basic information that is on the front of your Trident ID card and some of the basic information that is captured on the front of your driver's license can now be obtained by scanning the QR code at the back of the Trident ID. The physical driver's license that we currently have allows an individual who picks that up to see not only your driver's license number, not only class of driver's license that you have, but it also gives your physical address. The QR code at the back of the Trident ID only allows the person who is looking at that information to see your driver's license number, when it expires, and the classes of licenses that you have been given approval to operate. I want to assure the people of Barbados that we take the security and the safety of our people's data very seriously, not only as a ministry, not only me as minister, but also the government of Barbados takes this extremely seriously. And much thought and consideration would have gone in to how this card can be useful, but at the same time, extremely safe. The question was raised relative to if someone were to just find your Trident ID card and then scan the back of the card. In the same way, if you lose your wallet right now or your purse, a person will be able to pull out the ID card and they will see all of your information relative to your height, relative to your gender, your full name, and that type of information. If they find your driver's license in the same purse or the same wallet, they will find the exact same information plus your address. Now, if they find the Trident ID card and they scan the back of it, they're going to get the same information that's on the front of the card. And then they're going to get basic information from your driver's license. So, ladies and gentlemen, Barbadians all, I can assure you that the QR code in no way, shape or form breaches your data. It does not share any more information than that which is already publicly known. And at the same time, it is actually safer and more secure than what currently obtains with your physical driver's license and your physical ID card. I hope that this clarifies this particular matter. And we ask the people of Barbados to continue to trust this process with us. We are working through it and we are ensuring that every step of the way that we are doing this in the most secure way possible whilst giving you access to this digital world that we're all very much a part of. I thank you.